What I'd like for you to do right now, I want you to think about your dream. Think about your dream right now and envision it. I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how far-fetched it might appear to be. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. But here's what I know, that that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. See, sometimes we can't say, I can do that. But what we can say, that it's possible that I can have my dream as we run toward it, as we work on it day in and day out. I mean, most people don't work on their dreams. Why? They stop growing, they stop working on themselves, they stop stretching, they stop pushing themselves. These are not risk takers. Most people have done all that they're ever going to do. They raise a family, they earn a living, and then they die. But people who are running toward their dreams, life has a special kind of meaning that in the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain, a lot of setbacks, a lot of defeats. But in the process of doing that, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. What you'll realize is that you're more powerful than you could ever begin to imagine. Align yourself with people that can encourage you, people that can empower you, people that you can learn from, people that you can grow from. Look at your life, look at where you want to go. Don't worry about your circumstances. Don't worry about your age. See, it's time now. If you want to make this your decade, you've got to start saying yes to your life. You've got to start saying yes to your dreams, yes to your unfolding future, yes to your potential. Why not? The future is unfolding for you right now. The future is unlimited for you right now. No one knows where you can go. No one knows what you're capable of or what's possible for you. We have the power to change our personal history, changing the direction of our lives, changing our thoughts, changing where we want to go, exploring new horizons. So as you begin to look at this decade and affirming that this is your decade, as you set goals that will make you stretch, that will bring out the best in you, as you begin to remove the negative, toxic people from your life, as you decide to take some chances in life, and that's one of the things that's very important. This God said, if you're not willing to risk, you cannot grow. And if you cannot grow, you cannot become your best. And if you cannot become your best, you cannot be happy. And if you can't be happy, then what else is there? There will never be a point in your time, in your life, where it's the right time to do a great thing. If you're waiting for that perfect, perfect moment, that perfect timing, it's not going to happen. You know what you have to do? You have to create the perfect time and the perfect opportunity and the perfect situation. So that a lot of people become comfortable. They stop growing. They stop wanting anything. They, they become satisfied. People getting ready to go to jobs that they don't like. Jobs that are making them sick. You see, when you're not pursuing your goal, you are literally committing spiritual suicide. When you have some goal out here that you're stretching for and reaching for, that takes you out of your comfort zone, you'll find out some talents and abilities you have that you didn't know you have. When the messenger of misery visits you, what are you going to do? What will keep you in the game? There are things that you think you'll never need to know that you may only need to know one time in your life, but that could save your life because you had that knowledge. Unless you attempt to do something beyond that which you've already mastered, you will never grow. What is it that you looked at at some point in time and you decided that you couldn't do it? That you talk yourself out of it? You're waiting on your next door neighbor to make it happen for you, it may not happen. If you're waiting on your mother or your father, they may be so ancient in their thinking that they don't understand this opportunity that you have. And if you're waiting on them, it may never get done. You don't beg average people to be phenomenal. You don't beg good people to be phenomenal. You just are phenomenal and you will attract phenomenal. What reason can you remember that you can call on, that you can reach on, that can make you get back up? Find that reason. 
If you're not where you are, if you're not where you want to be, if you don't have what you want, want to have, if you're not where you think you should be at this particular place, it has nothing to do with the system, but it has everything to do with the fact that you're not making the sacrifice. I want you to make that dream become a reality because if you don't, you will be working for somebody else to make their dreams become a reality. Question is, what are you going to do with your time? What drives you? Greatness is a lot of small things done well. Day after day, workout after workout, obedience after obedience, day after day. When things don't work out for you, when things happen that you could not anticipate, what are the reasons that you can think of that can keep you strong? You will never ever be successful until you turn your pain into greatness, until you allow your pain to push you from where you are to push you to where you need to be. Stop running from your pain and embrace your pain. Your pain is going to be a part of your prize, a part of your product. I, I challenge you to push yourself. See, it's easy to be on the bottom. It doesn't take any effort to be a loser. It doesn't take any motivation, any drive in order to stay down there on a low level. But it calls on everything in you. You have to harness your will to say, I'm going to challenge myself. I mean that what you did last week don't count. Today, today is the only important day. There are 86,400 seconds in a day, and how you use those are critical. You got 86,400 today, and what you do today is going to see me who you are. Nobody's going to talk about what you did last week have this opportunity of a lifetime it means absolutely nothing if you don't take advantage of it in the lifetime of this opportunity I got a saying that when life knocks you down try and land on your back because if you can look up you can get up if you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your time your peace and your sleep for it. if all that you dream and scheme is about it and life seems useless and worthless without it See, it's time now. If you want to make this your decade, you've got to start saying yes to your life. You've got to start saying yes to your dreams. Yes to your unfolding future. Yes to your potential. As opposed to saying no. When you die, die on E. Leave no dream left behind, guys. Leave no opportunity left behind. When you leave this earth, accomplish every single thing you can accomplish. Listen to me, you're gonna be here one day, but you'll never get here if you give up, if you give in, if you quit. And finally, guys, you gotta wanna succeed as bad as you wanna breathe. We have, as humans, we have something that no animal has. And what it's called is imagination. And what imagination allows you to do, it allows you to see it before it actually happens. What I mean by that is I need you to go 10 years into the future, 20 years into the future, and I need you to see yourself actually becoming the person you want to be. You got to live in the forward. Block the whole world out. Put some music on, some classical music, right? The piano if you need to. I don't know what you need to listen to, but I want you to take 30 minutes. Go in the closet. Go in the basement. Go, go to the library. Go, go into a room alone. And I want you to take 30 minutes, and I want you to imagine. I want you to take 30 minutes, and I want you to live in a forest. See, the problem is I'm talking to some of you guys. The problem that you're having is you're living in the future, and you're living in the present. And you keep talking about the mistakes. You keep talking about the past. You keep talking about your trials. You keep talking about your situation. And I want you to know that everybody that's ever been great, everybody has had an obstacle to overcome. They've had a barrier that they had to climb.
climb. There is no individual who's ever reached success and he didn't have to go through an obstacle or a barrier to get there. I need you to live in the future. I need you to go in your future every single day. I need you to go in your future. I need you to see what you're going to be. Listen to me, what you are to be, you are now becoming. And so you gotta use your imagination and your imagination has to take you beyond the pain. Your imagination has to take you beyond the trouble. Your imagination has to take you to the next level. We had to see ourselves there long before it happened. The second tool is we got to embrace faith. I have to have faith to believe that the thing that I see 10 years from now, 20 years from now, that one day that thing is going to be successful. When I was homeless at 16, I could have quit. When I was homeless, I could have given up. There were many a days that I thought about committing suicide, but I said to myself, E, just keep imagining, keep thinking, keep seeing, keep seeing what you're not now, but what you're going to be. Sometimes it's going to be hard. Sometimes you're going to look all around you and nowhere do you see success. Nowhere do you see anything that remotely looks like success, but you got to embrace Number two, you got to embrace the faith. You got to believe that although it's not happening right now, if you keep pressing, if you keep pushing, guess what? One day is going to be your day. That's right. I need you to say that with me. One day is going to be your day. Embrace the faith. You got to be able to see it and believe it that when there's no, no evidence around you, when there's no evidence around you, when you got pain in your life, when, you, when, you, when you're when tired, you feel like giving up and you feel like quit. When you look around you, you don't see anything that looks anything like success. You got to embrace the faith and believe that one day going to be my day. But one day can't be your day if you give up. If you quit, if you quit, no day will ever be your day. I want you to fail forward. That's right, I said it, fail forward. I want you to get to a place in your life that every mistake you make, every setback you get, right, every obstacle that you don't, that, that, that you don't overcome, every barrier you can't climb. I don't want you to give up, but I want you to fail forward. You gotta learn from your mistakes, that every mistake you make, you fail a class, get back up and try again. You lose a job, get back up and try again. You put all your money in investment, get back and try it again. If you start a business and it don't work, don't stop, don't quit. Fail forward, learn from each and every one of your mistakes. Don't quit, don't give up. Listen to me, don't quit, don't give up. If it gets hard, you tired, not around yourself, you double tired if you have to, but you hold on. But I want you to know you will never reach your goal. You will never reach your dreams if you don't use your imagination. So when you when that when you fail that class, don't 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 drop it. When you fail that class, don't just stop going. You go into the end of that class. You go into the end of that class and you go into the end of that class and you go into the end of that class because I want you to know something. When you start that class over the next semester, you won't be starting from scratch. You won't be starting from the bottom because you were all the way up here when you quit. And now all you got to do is go a little further and a little further. So keep reaching, keep climbing. started with a vision. Fear is not real. The only place that fear can exist is in our thoughts of the future. It is a product of our imagination causing us to fear things that do not at present and may not ever exist. Fear is a choice. Only those who risk going too far can possibly find out how far one can go. I want your dream to be so clear that when you wake up in the morning, all you gotta do is step in your dream. And the first step for me was seeing something I was not before I was.
You can do it. Where you are is temporary. You will not be there for the rest of your life. I don't care what happens in your life. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care where you are. Every single day you wake up, if you're gonna have energy, if you're gonna have passion, if you're gonna have drive, every day you wake up, you gotta start with that vision. This is a mentality, like, you gotta live this, you gotta eat this, you gotta, every single thing you do is not a cute saying, it is a way of life. It's got to possess everything you do. It's got to own you. There's no reason to have a plan B because it distracts from plan A. I want to see how far I can go. I want to see what I can accomplish. I want to see what I can do, what I can be, what I can have. I want to see. I don't want to see what I think I can do. I don't want to see what I think is possible. I want to see what my life would look like if I didn't count the cost and if I was willing to go further than anybody else was willing to do. One problem, the violin. Because to do what you do, you've got to be a world-class violinist. Because if you don't, when you're moving around and being thrown around and still trying to play, you end up doing what you did, and that's missing loads of notes. And there were times when it sounded to me like a bunch of rats being strangled. Seriously, that bad. But you're not good enough, I don't think, to get away with flying through the air and trying to play the violin at the same time. I don't think what you're doing right now is enough to fill a, a theater in, in Vegas. Th that much movement made you not as great as you were, made you not as great as you were. Anytime there's a change to be made, you have to realize that there's somewhere else you want to be. And I wanted basically to be happy. You can't do anything without faith. It's impossible to accomplish anything without faith. So I need you to believe there is still time as long as there's breath in your nostrils, as long as you can wake up in the morning. The first step before anybody else in the world believes it is you have to believe it. So I need you to believe. Because if you're willing to go through all the battling you gotta go through to get to where you wanna get, who's got the right to stop you? I mean, maybe some of you guys got something you never finished, something you really wanna do, something you never said to somebody, something. And you're told no, even after you pay your dues, who's got the right to tell you that? Who? Nobody. It's your right to listen to your gut. It ain't nobody's right to say no after you earn the right to be where you want to be and do what you want to do. You got to do what you was called to do. You got to do what you were born to do. You got to do what works for you because if you do what works for you, you're going to blow up. It's in your DNA. It's who you are. Then you get knocked down, you get back up, and you get back up, and you get back up, and you continue to throw shit against the wall. where you are because of who you are and if you're going to get somewhere else you're gonna to have to change something most of us go through life pretending that we don't have any special goals or ambitions or desires when really deep down inside we do really want more we block ourselves and we use these words almost like we're in a trance like we're sleepwalking through life, that we find ways to cancel out our dreams, that a lot of things that we want to do, a lot of places we would like to go, a lot of things we would like to experience, and we just stop at but. But will cause you to hide out behind fear, 
but will cause you to come up with all type of excuses that you can validate your inaction and not acting on your dream. But is a dream killer. But most people, you know what they do? Most people go through life quietly and safely tiptoeing to an early grade. We've been holding back. We have ideas that we don't act on, things we want to do, we're afraid to take chances. See, a lot of people say no to things and they don't even know what they're saying no to. Don't allow but to keep you in the corner. There are a lot of people who say, but I tried once or twice and it didn't work out. And so they use that as an excuse not to ever come out again. Even if I, I, things don't work out, even if I experience defeat or failure, that does not make me a failure. It's the difference between failing and being a failure. If things don't work out, if you don't produce the results you want, that's all. But don't confuse who you are with the results that you produce. Do what you can, where you are with what you have, and never be satisfied. Yeah, don't get satisfied with yourself. Always know that wherever you are, you can enjoy more, that you deserve more. Why don't you decide now that you're going to expand your world, that if other people can learn, you can learn too. See, if you're working on your dream, sure there are going to be times you're going to want to give up. Sure there'll be times in life I knock you down and catch you on the blind side. But the challenge is, is to hold on. And if you hold on tenaciously, I say the universe is on your side. See, if you don't decide to act on your dream, if you don't decide to make a decision to live your life, if you don't decide to step into your fears, if you don't decide to say yes to your life, it will never work for you. You've got to live what's in you. Life is just too short and unpredictable. But what are, what do we say? But, but there always be tomorrow. Oh no. There's no guarantees you're going to show up tomorrow. Always something there. To build a case on why you can't move on, why you can't grow to the next level, why you can't begin to manifest your greatness, why you can't begin to live life on your terms. That you're going to say, it's not worth it? Yes, that's, that's going to be right there for you. It's going to be in your face telling you to go back. So if you want to do something, if you thought about something you want to do, take it head on. Life will never be the same again. Live your dream. Is it possible for you to have all your dreams become a reality in your lifetime? Yes, it is possible. But the real question you should be asking yourself, have you made the decision? which has been given you to do, and you spend a lot of time going around trying to convince other people or trying to get their approval, what will happen is that you will lose your nerve and other people will convince you that what you're doing doesn't have any value and you'll give up on your dream. We go through life trying to seek security and not coming outside of our comfort zone and we take most of our stuff with us to the grave. In life, you're either here today and you're gone today. And I'm saying that the fact that you're still here, that you're still breathing, you've got some more work and you owe it to yourself. You owe it to yourself. So when you get up in the morning, that you can look yourself in the face and say, hey, I'm living my life on my terms. See, if you don't decide to act on your dream, 
If you don't decide to make a decision to live your life, if you don't decide to step into your fears, if you don't decide to say yes to your life, it will never work for you. Many of us never realize our greatness because we become sidetracked by secondary activity. We spread ourselves too thin, don't know how to say no, and we find ourselves doing all kinds of things and never ever have time to do those things that we need to do to work on ourselves. And then there goes a second, there goes another second, there goes another second, and we can't stop and hold time. And before you know it, you wake up one day and you're behind on your dreams and your bills. Ask your question, how much time do you have left? How much time do you have left? Decide that you're going to take some time to work on you, that you deserve that from yourself, that your life deserves. It's very important. You owe that to yourself. One idea can change your life. One idea can turn your life around. And as you convince you, as you sell yourself, every day, every day, every day, something happens for you. It will enable you to transcend yourself, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, do it with everything that you have. Develop the habit of giving more than what you're paid for. If there's something that you want and you're hungry for it, you've got to do whatever is necessary until. And when you give the best you can and that's not enough, you must do what is required. When you're hungry, you don't care about the facts. You don't care about the odds. When you step into your fears and continue to push yourself to go on, you begin to see things that have been staring there looking you in the face saying, I can't believe this has been here all this time. It's supposed to be difficult. If it wasn't difficult, then there'd be no growth. There would be no resistance. There'd be nothing to force you to grow stronger with. And that's why I say the most important reason, the most important thing, the most important gift that you receive by taking action, it's you growing stronger and becoming a stronger version of yourself through the challenges, through the resistance, and because it's hard. And don't give up on yourself. Don't throw the towel in so quickly. Many people give up on the one yard line. I want you to get to a place in your life that every mistake you make, every setback you get, right? Every obstacle that you don't, that, that, that you don't overcome, every barrier you can't climb. I don't want you to give up, but I want you to fail forward. Every mistake you make has to be another stepping stone, another building block. And you've got to learn how to tune out the critics outside and the critic inside. And since I'm going to do this, I'm going to harness my will, and I'm not going to let anything stop me. I deserve this. See, the last chapter to your life has not been written yet, and it doesn't matter about what happened yesterday. We don't give up. We don't surrender. We don't quit. We see differently. Our perspective is different. And because our perspective is different, our outcomes are different. Our rewards are different. Imagine you're on your deathbed, and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential. The ghost of the ideas you never acted on. The ghost of the talents you didn't use. And they're standing around your bed, angry, disappointed, and upset. They say, we, we came to you because you could have brought us to life, they say. And now we have to go to the grave together. So I ask you today, how many ghosts are going to be around your bed when your time comes? In order to do something you've never done, you must be born again. But most people are living like they're living because of the fact that they don't believe they can have any more than what they now have. They accept the reality that they have been given. You have something special. You have talents and abilities in you that you don't even know. First step is you got to live your calling. 
You got to decide what is it you love. Don't listen to the naysayers. I mean, how many times have you heard that you can't do this, you can't do that, and it has never been done before? Yes, you can. I want you to think about this goal that you want. I want you to envision it and see it in your mind's eye. And every day, say to yourself, I can do this. I can make this happen. There is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that's less than the one you're capable of living. You will fail at some point in your life, accept it. You will lose, you will embarrass yourself, you will suck at something, there's no doubt about it. I don't want you to be the next Oprah, I don't want you to be the next Obama, I don't even want you to be the next me, I want you to be you. But you're gonna have some ups and you're gonna have some downs. You're gonna have people to do things to you. Things are going to happen to you. And the most important thing to do is to harness your will and let it go. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. Every failed experiment is one step closer to success. You have to trust in something, your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever. Because believing that the dots will connect down the road will give you the confidence to follow your heart even when it leads you off the well-worn path and that will make all the difference. You've got genius in you. You have some special stuff in you. You were born to win. You want it and you're going to go all out to have it. If it's hard, then do it hard. You've got to be willing to do the things that they others won't do in order to have the things tomorrow others won't have. Do you know how powerful you are? Whatever your gift is, what are you going to do with what you have? Right now, we have the most valuable asset on earth on our side, time, but it's running out. We have control of our minute, our hour, our day, our week, our month, and our year. It's later in life. As you look back on your life, the windows of opportunity has closed. Your ability is no longer present, and you think back that you could have been great. Right now, you had the ability to never have that debate inside your head, because that's the debate you can never win. Everyone's like, oh, Greg, you're lucky you got the cover. You got this, Greg, you're lucky. Everything you do is luck. Bullshit, because before it was luck, it was a belief. And every day with no one watching at five in the morning by myself, I trained it because I believed in it. Then I mastered it. No, I remastered it and remastered it in hopes that one day my trained ability collided with an opportunity to show it off. You will always be in control of your destiny. It's all you. But ladies and gentlemen, go into action with your dream and don't avoid where the fights are. Get in the midst of the fight. Get knocked down so you can learn how to fight so you can hold your position. The other thing that's worst case scenario is fear. For many of you guys, it robs you of your true potential. Why is that? Because it's a parasite. It feeds off you, the host. Its fuel is confidence. When fear comes into your body, it's as weak as state. You could kill it right there in a second, but you don't. You turn your back to it. What's the benefit of allowing fear to hold you back? What's the benefit of giving up on yourself, of not stepping out on life and taking life on? What is the benefit for you? What's the plus in that? You've got to ask yourself, how long am I going to allow this to hold me back? And right now you guys are sitting there and to make that first step is the hardest step.
when you have a dream, it doesn't often come at you screaming in your face. Dreams always come from behind you, not right between your eyes. It sneaks up on you. Sometimes a dream almost whispers, whispers. It never shouts. Very hard to hear. So you have to, every day of your lives, be ready to hear what whispers in your ear. It very rarely shouts. That moment in time was one of the darkest moments I've had in my whole life. My motivation was out the door. Like I just wanted to give up. I need you to be who you're supposed to be. Don't let nobody stop you from being who you're supposed to be. Don't let nobody out talk you. Don't let nobody tell you the doors are shut. Don't let nobody tell you that opportunities don't exist. Don't let nobody tell you that. I need you to be who you're supposed to be because when you are who you're supposed to be, you superhuman. I don't want to delude you because this is a career-ending injury. Listen to me. You got fear and you got faith. And I've decided not to walk in fear, but to walk in faith. There's greatness in you. Are you hearing me? There's greatness in you. And you mean to tell me you're never going to reach your full potential? You mean to tell me you're never going to be what you've been called to be? That you're not going to do what you've been called to do because you are afraid? Some things don't come. They're just not going to come to you because you want it as bad as you want to breathe. You got to put up the dukes and you got to be willing to fight that thing out. They're not giving out success, but you can earn it. You can take it. I need you to take it. Don't let the distractions distract you. I would have never started skateboarding. So whatever you do, man, don't give up. Don't quit. Now listen to me closely. Just because you failed doesn't make you a failure. And when life hits you, you got to keep going. Just don't quit. In order to achieve greatness, you have to go through a lot of pain. You definitely have setbacks. But in order to achieve that success, you have to push through. If you hit an oak tree a thousand times in a thousand different spots, what's going to happen? Absolutely nothing. But if you hit an oak tree a thousand times in the exact same spot, you know what's going to happen? You're going to bring it down. You're going to do the impossible. You are not only a special person created at a special time, you got something special inside of you. You have to believe that you can do something that nobody else has done. And somehow that concept has to become reality. You got greatness all inside of you, but your problem is you are a scaredy cat. You saw, and every time it get hard, you quit and you give up. And I'm telling you, if you would be willing to fight your way through it, if you would be willing to fight your way through this battle, fight your way through cancer, fight your way through that academic struggle, fight your way through divorce, fight your way through it. If it was easy, everybody would do it. You got to fight your way through it. You got to fight the fear because guess what? Fear ain't bigger than you. If you're going to win the fight of your life, you can't be afraid to fight. What exactly was hurting on your body? I think my foot's broken and, and uh, my shoulder and my back. Everything feels pretty broke right now. Um, the doctor tried to get me to not skate and I basically told him he's going to have to fight me. Are you going to be able to take your fourth and fifth run? I'm taking every run. How were you able to muster up the strength to even come back out here and then take another run? I don't know what it is since it lives inside me, but it's... There's a lot of determination. It's a fire that just keeps burning. Fear, you are not going to stop me. I got too far. I've come too far to give up now.
got to believe in yourself. You got to believe in your dream. And you got to believe one day it's going to be your moment. One day you're going to own the moment. Listen to me, impossible is just a big word thrown around by small men. Right now, life's got you up against the rope. You can't give up. You can't give in. Listen to me. If it was easy, everybody would do it. You've gotten this far. If you was going to quit, you should have quit a long time ago. You got too far. You've come too far to quit now. Show me that nothing is impossible. See, let me share something with you. The easiest thing I've ever done was to earn a million dollars. The most difficult thing I've ever done was to believe it could happen to me. That was the most difficult part, to believe that given my circumstances, if my birth parents came down this aisle right now, I would not know either one if my daddy came up here or my mother came up here. Given the fact that I was born in an abandoned building on a floor, being labeled educable, mentally retarded, not having any college training. I used to feel all my life that people who had college degrees were more intelligent than me. I remember going to see the late Dr. Norman Vincent Veal, the author of the book, The Power of Positive Thinking. And I used to look at him up on stage and I said, I could do that. I would love to talk to people. I love to talk to people. And I said, I could do that. But then when I started going back to my car, my mental conditioning activated itself and it said, Les Brown, you can't do that. You don't have a college education. Les Brown, you can't do that. You don't have the training. You've never worked for a major corporation. You can't do that. What makes you think you can earn five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars in an hour? You don't earn that now working for two or three months. What makes you think that you can speak for AT&T, Procter & Gamble, McDonald's Corporation, General Electric? These are clients I have now. You've never even worked for them. How many have ever thought about something you wanted to do and you talk yourself out of it? Raise your hand if you know what I'm talking about. That inner conversation is what's going to haunt you. Here's something else. It's possible you can live your dream. If I can see it, I'll believe it. No, 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 no. If you believe it, you can see it. You might never fail on the scale I did, but some failure in life is inevitable. It is impossible to live without failing at something, unless you live so cautiously that you might as well not have lived at all, in which case you fail by default. You've got to be willing to go into action. Don't wait around for things to be just right. Don't wait for things to be perfect. Don't wait for the ideal situation. It will never be ideal. You think it was easy? No, no. It's simple, but it's not easy. It's possible you can live your dream. It's necessary that you have goals, that you write them down, that you surround yourself with a support team, that you are creative. It's you that you must take personal responsibility to make it happen. George Bernard Shaw said, the people that make it in this world look around for the circumstances that they want and if they can't find them, they create them. It's hard, no easy, it's not an option. However, ladies and gentlemen, what you will discover is that it's worth it. It's worth it. You must work on yourself continuously. 
Never be satisfied with yourself. Always know that as you invest the effort and time on you, that's the greatest ability that human beings have above animals. See, a dog can't be anything but a dog. A tree can't be anything but a tree. Human being, you've got unlimited potential. You can put effort on you, and by concentrating on you and developing you, you can transform your life wherever you are right now. But you got to put a new mind in you. You got to get out of your mind. You got to begin to restructure your thinking. Every day, you've got to begin to recondition your mind. See, many of us go through life making choices, thinking it's our choices, and it's not. You've got to die as you are now. You've got to be willing to give up who you are now for what you can become. Certain things will no longer fit into your life. And so therefore, as you look at yourself, you've got to have this vision of yourself beyond your circumstances. You want to live life with energy and passion. You're going to get some ideas. You're going to feel your adrenaline flowing and you're going to think about something, some idea you had. You say, I want to go back and I'm going to look at that again. And you'll get all kind of creative ideas. So every day you have to sell yourself and get out of your mind those old thoughts, that old belief system. Every day you've got to sell yourself on that it's possible. That you have the vision and never give up. That you become creative and relentless and keep on coming back again and again and again. And that it's you that you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. And that it's hard. Easy is not an option. And when life knocks you down, jump back up and say, it's not over until I win. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. Say that to yourself every day. We have our dreams, our passion for a reason. It is not by chance. Whatever vision you have for yourself, somehow you've been gifted with this inner voice, this spectacular talent and potential that's never ending. And most people never live up to that. Understand that what has been given to you has been given to you particularly, specifically, for a reason. You're a one of a kind. You're something special. Don't cheat yourself out of that by living an average life. Life is hard. Yeah, that's right. You're going to experience some struggles, some pain, some hardships. But it's not about what happens to you. Because these things, whether you believe it or not, happen to everyone. But it's the way that you respond to these things that really makes you stand out. That's what makes a difference. You will never be able to control everyone and everything around you. You can't always choose what happens, but you can choose what you're going to do about it. That's fully and entirely up to you. Most people will make excuses, but if you want things to go your way, take full responsibility. Because that means you have the power to change it. It's up to you to make a difference. The power is in your hands. Now think about that for a second. That's all the power you need, the ability to impact and change anything. It's up to you. You have to switch out of that pity victim mentality and never look back. What gives your life meaning? What gives it purpose? What drives you? The voices in your head telling you that you are not good enough, that you can't make it happen, as well as maybe even the people around you saying those things, it has to stop, it has to end. That's not good enough. That's not good enough. You have to do better than that. You have to step up with some power. Make a statement to the universe. I am capable. I am powerful. I not only can, but I will make it happen. Only you can claim your own power. Nobody else can do that for you. You're designing your own future right now. You're crafting. You're creating right now. You're making your own experience. There are some abilities, some talents, some gifts you have that absolutely no one else can tap into except for you.
I've often said that I wished people could realize all their dreams and wealth and fame and so that they could see that it's not where you're going to find your sense of completion. I can tell you from experience, the effect you have on others is the most valuable currency there is. How will you serve the world? What do they need that your talent can provide? That's all you have to figure out. Why not take a chance on faith as well? Not religion, but faith. Not hope, but faith. I don't believe in hope. Hope is a beggar. Hope walks through the fire and faith leaps over it. You are ready and able to do beautiful things in this world. As a child, my parents always told me, you could be whatever you want to be. You could do whatever you want to do. But I didn't totally believe it. Yet I went out in the world and I carried myself and I held my head high and I stood there and I looked people in their eyes and I talked to people as if I was deservant of everything that this planet has to offer. Confucius said one time, he who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. It's time to change. It's time to walk down another street. What is your dream? I just want to ask you one question. What do you want to be remembered for? I hope you want to be remembered as a grinder. Someone who fights their way through all the things that they go through. Do not give up on your marriage. Do not give up in school. Do not give up on your goals and your dreams. You want to be an athlete. Grind. You want to open up that company, that organization. Grind. Nobody has to convince you to do what you have to do. You wake up early. You stay up late. You will do whatever you have to do to get where you need to go. Who gave me five grand when I was at Michigan State doing my program? I didn't get a, I didn't have no budget. But I didn't need a budget. I had a dream. I didn't need no help. The president never came and said to me, ET, we're going to help your program for this institution blow up. The president never came and I never quit. I never gave up. Why? Because it wasn't her dream in the first place to take care of a group of kids from the D. It was my dream. It was my goal. I don't expect you to do, I don't expect you to believe in my dream like I believe in my dream. And the problem with some of y'all is you want somebody else to support your dream. It's yours. I don't owe you a dime. It's your dream. If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind. The warfare is in your mind. It's not in your checkbook. It's not in your savings account. It's not on your job. The fight that you got to fight is in your mind. There is always someone on your heels. There's always someone with talent. There's always someone hungry to take what you have. So where's that differentiating factor? It's within. It's in your why. If you're number one, you gotta act like you're still number two trying to get there. These people are relentless. You are always replaceable in the office, on your roster spot. And every year I tell you, there's always gonna be someone with more ability, with more privilege. So where's your competitive edge? It's up to you to muster it up and revisit your past where you weren't the top dog. Revisit that pain. Check yourself for that hunger and deliver it from the inside out. Outthink them, outsmart them, outwork them. I will not be outworked, period. Well, one of the things about life, you're going to get hurt. You're going to make some mistakes. You're going to fail your way to success. But you've got to be willing to experiment. You've got to be willing to push yourself. You've got to be willing to challenge yourself by putting yourself in a perpetual state of discomfort. It's time to put your best foot forward. It's not about just putting in hours. It's about what are you doing with those hours you're putting in. Stay focused in accomplishing every single goal, every single day. We're trying to reach a pinnacle point. Nobody else can give you the effort that you need. Nobody tells you when you're successful. You know when you're successful. 
You know if you're putting in enough time to become great. You know when you're good. And there will be times when you feel like giving up. You just got to go one more mile. You got to go one more day. And I guarantee you'll find that motivation that you need. There's something that's built on the inside of you that man cannot give you. Your life, your health, your business, the situation that you're going through, everything that you've been through should push you to your destiny. Today is the day.